The Houston Police Union is crying foul over Chief Troy Fenner leading the investigation into his own police department. This, of course, the latest development surrounding more than 260,000 wrongfully suspended cases. They're calling for him to leave the investigation immediately and to hand it over to higher authorities. Now, let's bring in Liliana Pearson to break this down a little bit. Liliana has been covering, following this story closely. Liliana, let's talk first about the letter sent by the union to HPD. Yeah, Jonathan and Maida, this letter was actually sent yesterday, and the Houston Police and the Houston Police Officers Union said it to both the mayor and to Chief Troy Finner. They say that they believe that the chief needs to recuse himself from this investigation. They say that by him investigating his own department, it raises ethical questions. It also allows the public to question the outcome of the investigation. They tell me that they believe that the chief needs to focus on those suspended incident reports getting back in contact with the victims and the investigation into how exactly this happened needs to go to a higher authority, somebody like the attorney general. And of course, today I did reach out to the Houston Police Department. A spokesperson there told me that as of right now, in regards to the letter sent to them by the union, they don't have any comments or statement. And of course, we know about all of this coming before that independent panel convened by, by Mayor Whitmire is set to meet for the first time tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so Liliana, last week you raised questions with the mayor's office about the panel members and the work that they can do and cannot do. That's right. We wanted to know specifically just how impartial these panel members are going to be. Last week, as you said, we did note that a couple of the people sitting on the council are either current city employees like the city attorney and also former city employees like a former city councilwoman. We want to know if these people specifically feel like they can be impartial while looking over the shoulder of current and former city colleagues. On this panel, we also have a current Texas Ranger, so we want to be able to ask that person Person, if they feel like they can impartially investigate a fellow member of law enforcement. We did hear from the mayor's office last week. He told us that the panel at this time is being asked not to speak to journalists. However, as you did mention, they are set to speak with city council tomorrow for the first time, and we're hoping to get some of these questions answered. As you mentioned, there's also been some concern raised about just how much power this panel is going to have. We're told right now that they're going to be reviewing the police investigation and collecting data, but they aren't going to have power like subpoena power. So there's been lots of questions raised about just how much they can do in the review of this investigation. And lastly, Liliana, and I want everyone to keep in mind here, there's still current police work to be done in Houston as we work back on this. Liliana, what might we learn tomorrow? What do you at least hope to learn tomorrow? What we're really hoping to learn next is just exactly what these reviews and these investigations are going to look like. And keep in mind, the panel is meeting for the very first time tomorrow. While we certainly want to learn a lot of questions, we were told last week that when the panel meets for the first time, they're going to be setting goals and expectations. So hopefully we'll, we, we will at least be learning some of that information. We were also told today that later this week, we are expected to be sitting down with Chief Troy Finner, where he's going to be talking about their investigative process a little bit. So we're hopefully going to be able to learn just exactly what these reviews, these investigations look like. So we'll be able to better understand what information is going to be learned and what accountability is going to happen here. Yeah, Liliana, thank you for staying on top of this. And of course, we will keep pressing for those answers until we hear more. We'll keep you posted. Thanks, Liliana.